Next morning, starting out with a bang. Jay's $500 tire. <laughs> She's a little low. <laughs> so now we're gonna fix up my car's exhaust, the hangers hitting the sway bar, and then I need to get out of here. David has all the batteries and most of the tools, so we're having to makeshift everything. Fresh clearance, boys. Jay racing to the rescue. All right, your muffler's back in, and we got a good bit of clearance now. So the reason that we couldn't tell that it was happening is because while the car's up, it very clearly is nowhere near the sway bar. Yeah. And Lost then once the it bar. once it drops down and we're not looking at it. Yeah, inside the car you can hear it loud and clear, especially when all the seats are out. It is so loud. I think it might be two nails. But it's daytime. I can give you a better look at the prep that is caked on to these everywhere, all over it, in just huge chunks everywhere. Jay says that I should just throw these on the rears, do a quick little burnout, and it'll get it all off. You guys get so mad at me because I don't have a filter over the Pro Charger, and as you saw on my drive here, I definitely need one. Well, I had one, but it, the inlet size didn't fit, so Jay's about to try and work his magic and see if he can make it fit. All right, let's see where he goes with this. He took all of my covers off. And put them up there. You can see the big red blow off out right there. I guess that's the best look you're gonna get unless it's out of the car. Told you it's a turbo. See? That's why you can't get it off the line. It had too much lag. Too much turbo lag. I just need a little driver mod. So to put it simply, this won't fit. Not because the coolant line, but because of the actual way that the pro charger is. There's no room right here, so nothing can fit in there. It's on there, but it ain't the prettiest, but it works. I'm just going to put everything back and then go home because it's Mother's Day and my mom's mad at me. Oh, wait. David has my rear seats in the back of his truck. So David has all of our tools and he has my seats. I have my passenger seat and the actual seat part of the seats, but the part that goes behind it is in David's truck. We're going to get my seat from David. Comfortable? loves it. All right, we are in kind of a time crunch, but the seats are back in, the car is loaded. I had Mrs. Stangry and my brother take my gas tank so that we have room. All that I have is the drag radials, we got the skinnies and my bag and we're good. My Jay. Have fun. My Jay. So last time on my drive home, I ran out of gas. Hopefully today I'm a little bit smarter. So I've learned that switching from E85 to 93 you don't have to be as low as switching from 93 to E85. So I'm gonna fill up on 93 when I hit about a fourth of a tank, which is gonna be here in a second. So I'm just gonna look for the next gas station, go there, get some caffeine. Then I'm gonna go the rest of the way home. I got like two hours left. And I made it to a gas station. I'm at exactly a fourth of a tank. So I'm gonna switch my tune over, fill up on 93, and then go the rest of the way home. I am so tired. So it's right there. Just gonna click check, flash the tune, and that should take three minutes, like it says. And there you go. It's gonna flash that tune. Gas just stopped, 40 bucks. It always sounds canned right when I start it because it's really confused with the change of gas and obviously the change of tune. So now we're good to start it. Yeah, it'll get pretty low on the RPMs. Kind of chop for a second. A tunnel. Picture perfect, man. Exactly what 
Jay told me to do. Which is exactly what everybody else was saying. So, this thing sounds so good, man. After about five hours in the car, I am finally pulling into my neighborhood. The car made it two J's, the car ran. It didn't perform the best I wanted it to, which is kind of my fault. I'm not gonna sit here and blame the track and say it was prep because at the same time, I didn't have the correct tire set up. So I am gonna try and upgrade to the R's before I go back next time and try and do that sooner than later. And if I can't make it down there, try and find maybe a closer drag strip and see if I can get, you know, Connor, maybe Adam. But at the end of the day, I drove there, I had a good time, the car ran, it didn't break. The car made it back home in one piece. We fixed some of our issues. So I'm happy, I had a great time. And I'm hoping that we can go back and run that nine. We might not have beat our best time, but the car did show better potential. We did trap a higher speed than we have before. Last time we maxed out at one, I hit 133. This time we almost hit 135 and we were spinning off the line. So I'm wondering what we would have gotten if we would have actually hooked up. Hey, that's what it's about. You live, you learn. We're gonna launch it some different ways, different tire setup. I may try and upgrade the suspension a little bit more. I'm still on the Ford Performance Springs, which I wanna change over to some drag springs. There's a lot of things that we could do to the car. There's a lot of things I probably should do to the car. And uh, that's what I'm gonna try and upgrade next. First things first, I need the tires. I'm not gonna even be able to see the potential of the car if I'm not running on the correct tires. So I'm gonna do my best to get my hands on, on some R's. The trip was a success. Toby ran his car. He needs to work on his launch a little bit more. Uh, he really doesn't want to blow up that trans. He was kind of launching pretty easily. On the last pass that we were supposed to get, he was going to send it, but then they pulled him off like you guys saw. That was so stupid. But as far as today's video, that is going to wrap it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. I tried to film as much as I could, tried to get as many angles as I could. It's kind of confusing with the GoPro because I didn't trust the suction cup anywhere, so I just kind of put it on the window. I'm gonna work on getting some better angles, figure out what, you know, what looks good and what sounds good on the car as far as the GoPro, where we could suction cup it, stuff like that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a fantastic time doing this and I wanna do it a lot more. I'm trying to find a more local place so that I can give you guys more drag content. I enjoy it a lot and I don't wanna to have to drive four hours every time I wanna test the car. Cause if something did break and it was down there, it would be stuck down there. Our mission to run a nine is still continuing. We thought we were gonna get it this weekend, but we were not even close. Hopefully between now and the next time I get to a strip, I can make the adjustment. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys along with me in the process. So if you like the car and you liked what you see, make sure to subscribe, stick around. We can only go crazier from here. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, we got it. Stop turning around, start moving. Who the f this dude?